to Iceland, where thousands of people were evacuated after a massive volcanic eruption following weeks of earthquakes. Marcus Moore is in Iceland with the latest. Good morning, Marcus. Well, Michael, good morning. I want you to see the volcano off in the distance there. You can see that orange glow uh, and that lava spewing into the there's also gases rising into the sky. We're obviously in a safe spot to show you what's been happening here. For weeks, officials have been warning about the potential for this eruption. They even evacuated an entire town. And this morning, there's an urgent effort to protect the nearby power plant. Overnight, an Icelandic eruption. The volcano's finally erupted. After weeks of warning, the volcano in southwest Iceland exploding, turning the sky bright orange. The glow from lava visible for miles, even from the center of the capital, Reykjavik, and not far from a power plant. Watch as fiery fountains of lava flow high in the sky. Magma, or semi-molten rock, spewing along the ridge of a hill and across the volcanic hotspot. They tend to be gas-rich, and that causes them to shoot way up in the atmosphere into the spectacular fire fountains. Thick smoke seen wafting skyward. These photos show the Earth's crust cracking open, exposing the glowing red ash, rocks, and dangerous volcanic matter below. Just last month, numerous cracks opening up in roads, steam pouring out of the ground as seismic activity intensified in the southwestern part of the country. The eruption occurring on Iceland's Reykjanes Peninsula, less than two miles from the town of Grindavik, which is about a half hour drive from the country's main airport and just 10 minutes from the famous Blue Lagoon, one of Iceland's biggest tourist attractions. Local authorities on high alert, evacuating nearly 4,000 residents of the small fishing town amid fears of a significant outbreak. It is bigger than expected. While no flights have been canceled yet, holiday travelers fear widespread disruptions because of previous volcanic eruptions like this one back in 2010, which crippled air travel for days. And we are still watching that lot off on the, the horizon there and according to officials overnight it did it does appear that the intensity of this eruption has uh, decreased a bit but they're still not out of the woods the Coast Guard has been flying helicopters over the region to assess the situation and this is already one of the largest eruptions to hit this region in several years with one of the fissures or, or cracks in the ground is about two and a half miles long with lava spewing out of it in every direction Truly really incredible images. Now, as we saw in Hawaii, too, there's no telling how long this yeah, could last, too. True. So we'll stay on top of it. Marcus, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.